Hi, this is Andrew with Missing Remote. I mentioned briefly uh, a couple videos ago that I just excluded a sensor um, somehow. And I wanted to do a quick guide on how I did that. Um, because it's an extremely useful thing to be able to do, uh, especially if you buy uh, Z-Wave devices um, that have been previously owned. Um, not everybody goes to the trouble of excluding them. So um, basically, I have the Zoo's uh, USB stick, but pretty much any uh, Z-Wave USB stick should work for this. Um, you just need to go out and get the um, Z-Wave PC controller software. Um, I got this from the Zoo's website, and I'll put a link in the description. Um, but I'm reasonably confident it's the same application that you can get from SI Labs. And I'll put a link there as well, but you have to register on the SI Lab site, so I just didn't. Um, and also because I have a, the Zoo's um, stick, um, it was a pretty straightforward thing to do there. Both the um, source code and an installer are included in the zip file that you get from uh, Zoo's site. So I, I have Visual Studio, so I just um, compiled it myself, but um, otherwise you can install it. And then you just have to find the uh, controller UI executable and then run it. Once you run it, um, it's pretty easy. You just um, wait for it to detect the uh, stick and then um, click on network management. Then click on remove to put the application in exclusion mode and run through whatever the exclusion sequence is for the uh, Z-Wave device. That's all there is to it. It's really simple. Um, now is the time when I ask you to like or subscribe to the channel and to increase the chances that you'll do that. Here's a video of my puppy chewing on a pine cone. Um, if you didn't like this video, please leave a flaming comment in the comment section and I'll do my best to uh, reply to it. Thanks.